Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Entraband. Uh, we're still continuing, or we're, we're continuing the adventures of Clara. Uh, silly name, I know. Uh, let's see here. I sorted out my inventory. I think uh, five rations of food. I should probably bring more food rations. I have the the Elvish Whey Bread, of course. I've bought a bunch of that um, at a discount, as you can see. Um, so technically I could be eating that, but of course that's kind of my iron reserve. That's really good. It, uh, it restores a lot of hunger, it doesn't weigh a lot, and it also heals for a bit when you eat it. So I'd rather, you know, um, depend mostly on normal rations. Unless I can help it. Um, I have my oil, some my potions, words of recall, very important. My couple of rods. Uh, two wands and some iron shots. I have not used my, my sling in a long time, but you know, I still kind of want to hang on to it just in case. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a couple more rations because they're basically free, you know, might as well stock up on them. Mm, let's get, I don't know, four more. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unequip my lantern, because I don't think it matters. I um, don't, don't think it matters while you're on the road. But while it's not equipped, it's not going to use up its fuel. So, you know, just to conserve that. I cannot go to the global map. Come on. There are no monsters nearby. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to travel to the town of Tamora all the way over there. That's pretty far away. Not that much farther than I had to travel from the outpost to here, but still. And I'm so far I have not been ambushed while sticking to the road tiles here. Also surprisingly I'm still full. Okay. Now I'm no longer full. That lasted a long time. Yeah. There's a pretty good chance to be ambushed on any non-road tile. Also now I'm traveling overland without a lantern. Must be really dark. Wow, I did not have to even eat during this travel. I expected that to take a lot more resources, honestly. Okay, and I start out here. Uh, I guess I'll wield my lantern so I can see something. I'm also gonna uh, map everything. Or not. Oh, I guess it only it doesn't map empty terrain. Oh. Let's see, where's the city gate? There is one, okay. Oh, okay, it actually ends over here. Interesting. Let's see what we have here. Uh, library, that's useful. Temple of Life. Another temple. Bookstore. Oh, these are the shops, of course, the numbers. Uh, alchemy shop, weapon shop, armor shop, magic shop. This would be the black market, uh, the general shop. Uh, tavern. Uh, yes, an inn. Weapon Master. This is the museum, which I guess you can uh, you can bring artifacts there to be displayed. I don't know. I guess it's an additional storage because you, because you can also retrieve them for a fee or so. Uh, there's a castle. Hopefully they might have some quests for me. Although I guess any of these places technically could have quests. Beastmaster. I have not really really been uh, using the the monster capture system at all or even playing with that. I know that's a thing. You can technically um, well capture monsters and use them as companions or even ride certain monsters, which sounds intriguing, but you know it also sounds like a bit, little bit of a hassle. Um, maybe I'm gonna dedicate another character to experimenting with that, but for now I'm gonna go with you know um, with what I know and what works. Right, that's a library still, and down here we have Paladin's Guild. Archer's Guild, Fighter's Hall, and Thief's Guild, presumably? No, a casino. Okay. Well. suppose you can probably use that to make a lot of money, but I'm not going to uh, play with it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to see if, we can, if I can make my way to the town safely. Looks like I can. And I think the first thing I want to do is actually rest at the inn. Rest for the night. Cost 20. Okay. Refreshed, new day. Listen for rumors because why not? I 
don't think that's ever really given me anything particularly useful. Mere joker, a lightweight, but your eyes. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? There are always people who would like to restrict knowledge to their own circles. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I can, I could pay 500 to teleport to one of the previous towns now, so that's useful. That's, of course, the main reason I went here. Uh, weapon master. Wow, that is expensive. That only costs 200 each in uh, the town I I just came from. So I don't really know why you would... It's, it's even cheaper, I mean, okay, it's not cheaper to teleport there and back, but it's cheaper to teleport there and use the service than to use it here. So, hmm, yeah. Hey, castle person, Denegor, who are you? Is that, are we, to, are we to assume that Denegor is the king or is he the, whoever greets people, visitors to the castle? Anyway, quest, please. Oh, level 15. That is surprisingly low. I guess... People are maybe expected to travel all across the world much earlier. I mean, as I said, uh, while traveling, I have never been ambushed, I think, while traveling on the road. So I guess that's pretty safe, actually. All it takes is, you know, some some provisions for the road. Uh, the sewer underneath the city has been acting strange lately. There are rumors of monsters living beneath our fair city. I need you to exterminate the vermin and bring the sewer back to normal, to its normal dirty self. All right, I should be able to do that. Okay, there's the entrance right there. Good to know. It should be very doable. I don't know what we could, what we have to expect on the sewers, but it, it only being level 15, I don't expect anything too nasty, even if it's you know poison or even acid related. I should be able to kill everything pretty pretty quickly. Um, so, okay, so yeah, we don't want to research any monsters. Arena. Uh, look at poster. Do I hear any challenges against Noborta Casita, the Yik president? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Palace of Heroes. Oh, hey, that shows a list of my previous characters, actually. Although they never uh, participated in the arena. Yeah, look at that. My highest level character apparently was level 19. Pretty crazy. Especially considering that, you know, you need so much more experience uh, for each level after a certain point. So, I don't know. I, I guess I must have gathered twice the experience that any of my previous characters ever had at this point. Um, I mean, I, I kind of want to enter in the arena, but I'm also a little bit afraid that it might kill me. Uh, I don't know how deadly it is, or if you even can die for real. I mean, you probably can. This game does not normally pull any punches. <sighs> I'm so so tempted to give it a try to see how bad it is. Or if there is a way to to back out of it, if you notice that, if you realize that the opponent is too strong. Oh, this is too tempting. I, you should not take risks with new unknown situations that you can't can't don't have the experience to to properly judge in this kind of game. But you know, you only die once. Wait, I pressed E, and nothing happened. Huh? What? E. Oh, now it worked. Weird. I'm not sure what happened there at first. Uh, Noborta Casita, the Yeek president. I wonder if I had activated my buff before entering the arena, if that would have been active in here. Probably? I'm gonna do it now. Okay, that was a decent amount of damage to that guy. Fleas and terror. All right, we'll have one weak spell, and he died. You're then you're on your way to becoming champion. Nice. No drops though. Uh, was he worth experience? Uh, no, apparently not. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do it again, tentatively. I suppose I can see what my next enemy is going to be, not that that really tells me anything. Mori Troll, yeah. I mean, I'm still buffed, so let's enter? Oh no, okay, my buff is definitely gone, all right. Let's use it again. I think, hmm, come to think of it, I don't think my spell points were refilled, right? So that's definitely a thing to keep in mind. Disappears, yeah, okay. 
and it's definitely... Wow, I push it back? Interesting. It's definitely a lot tankier, but you know, it's also so dazed or confused that it's not coming after me. I almost feel bad for it. The troll dies. Yeah, again, no experience. Obviously, this is not about experience, but I'm not not really sure what it is about then. I don't make any money, I don't get any experience, and the enemies are definitely getting more dangerous. Huh. Gonna rest? Should I try one more fight? I probably shouldn't. Oh, this is such a bad idea, but... Okay, one more. Uh, a tiger. That's just a tiger, though. That's not even anything special. I've killed tigers before. Yeah. It says so right there. Okay, I'm still gonna buff. Dies. Okay. I don't know if I got experience for this one. I didn't pay attention. No good poster? Druid. Okay, that's another non-named enemy. So never mind what I just said. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna enter again. Okay, I apparently haven't fought a full-on druid. I think I've fought, like, apprentice druids, low-level druids. Okay, sped up, cast a firebolt at me, dealing... Not inconsiderable damage, actually. Fleece and terror after a single cast. Oh yeah, he's mostly dead. Okay. Um. Oh, this one was worth experience. Interesting. Huh. Look at the poster. Hill Giant. I mean, I've fought Hill Giants before. They're semi-scary, but not really that bad by themselves. Hmm. Really weird how it started out with named enemies and then went on to normal trash mobs, basically. I've, I mean... Hmm. Killed at least six of them. Not as many as I thought, but yeah, definitely quite a few of them. That's for sure. I shouldn't even need to buff for this one. Oh. He, I teleported him close to me and he started fleeing. Maybe taking another step toward me. But, you know, he was also killed in two shots. Hey, they can actually drop something. Another potion of speed. Wow. Thanks. I don't trust this, though. This is... This can't keep going like this forever. And I just don't know if there is... I mean, I suppose there is probably some kind of final level to this and... It's gonna have some kind of reward, but I there's just no way to to judge how how dangerous the next fight is gonna be, right? And a wear rat. I don't think I've fought a fair a wear rat before, so I don't know, maybe if it's an enemy that I've never seen in the re regular game, uh, that's a pretty good indication to not risk it. I don't know. Um tone overview. Oh wow. Identify Still only costs 100, but research now costs 2,000. That's 1,300 in uh, the other town in Mor Morinth, or whatever it's called. So yeah, again, no good reason to... Um, I know what, I can just eat one of my many rations of food. Um, yeah, no good reason to, to do that here, unless you really feel like you have too much money. Uh, and you don't want to travel back to the other town. Temple of Life. I'm just going to check every place here for potential quests. Uh, the tavern didn't have anything. Let's see if they sell anything interesting. Words of Recall. I have plenty. Yeah, okay, nothing here. I'm not actually interested in any books, so... In fact, I can't learn spells from books. Uh, let's see here. Short bows, light crossbow. Oh, I wonder if I should... I mean, light crossbow doesn't sound like a bad idea. This one is... I mean, crossbows deal a good amount of damage. They're relatively slow, I guess. Whereas uh, the sling I'm currently using is actually the fastest uh, ranged weapon. But the crossbow would be a lot more heavy hitting. Especially since it's pretty well enchanted here. I mean, 2800 is... It's some amount of money, but obviously I have a lot, so... Hmm, I really wonder if I should make the upgrade finally. It is heavier. 
and I don't have any skill in it, so I would have to spend some time training it. But I mean, there are enemies that are suitable to that kind of task, like molds that don't move or even some jellies. I wonder if I should do it. I mean, I would love some sort of super good um, artifact sling or something, because I already have the, sp the skill for it, but this one's pretty good. I'll keep it in mind. Just take a look at the armor shop, because obviously I could also use a decent um, helmet or gloves. No such luck, though. Or a cloak, I guess. Cloaks are from the normal the general store, though. Yeah, a cloak 1 plus 5, actually. Huh. I mean, that's not as good as the fur cloak I have, but it's not terrible for what it's worth. I could buy more Elvish Waybread, actually, for a reduced price. I mean, for that matter, I could just buy the regular price one and um, be done with it. You know what? I really could. I really don't have to be carrying those rations of food with me. Hmm. Weight is not usually a problem so much. I usually run out of uh, just slots for more items rather than uh, capacity for, you know, carrying more weight. But honestly, why don't we just do this? Just buy all of these. Sure, I'm not even going to haggle. Whatever. What? Oh, I... Game, please. Okay, well, you want it? Sure. There, I have 121. Fine by me. Ten pieces of Elvish Waybread. I mean, that should be good. And those only weigh as much as three rations of food. While being at, at least as good. I'm gonna even buy the other ones. Screw it. There. Buy all six of them. I'm gonna offer 200. Hmm. Okay. 220. Come on, 225. 230? 235? 240? Okay, 245. Nice. That was actually a pretty decent discount. Um, and you can have all my rations of food there, all eight of them. 16? Come on, give me 17. Oh, really? Oh, that's fine. Okay. 16 pieces of Elvish Way Bread for, you know, 4.8 pounds. Seems pretty good. Um, yeah, other than that, he he sells bolts for four. They might actually be a little bit more expensive at the weapon shop. No, yes, they are. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to purchase the crossbow J. Let's see, I'm gonna offer, I'm gonna insult him with 1500. Come on, 1600. I'm gonna see if I can get him below 2000. That would be amazing. Uh, 1600, let's try 1700. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go below, below 2000. Easy. 1750, come on. 1800. Nice. 1850. Okay, 1900. Yeah, you know what? 1947. Nice. Um, we'll equip that one. Nice. Okay, I can carry it. That was my only one concern, but yeah, I'm definitely definitely strong enough at this point that I can easily carry that kind of weapon um, and handle it. And I'm gonna sell the sling. Uh, I don't know. It's probably not worth a lot. Really. Not even. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna, you know what, it's, it's honestly not gonna go that much higher. So it's because, let's just... I still don't want to sell it under value, you know. But... There, 107. Whatever. And sell all those iron, iron shots. For one apiece. Okay. I don't know. It, it, it's probably not a good idea to include all of these tedious logistics in a let's play, but 
Uh, well, okay, bolts. What do they weigh actually? They're oh, they're not as heavy as iron shots, so that's good. Um, yeah, so J for bolts, and I want I don't know fifty of them. That sounds like a decent number. I'm probably not gonna use them. Let's go with forty. I had forty. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's see if we can. <gasps> well, I I just wow. Thanks, game, for not actually accepting that. Accepting that. Also, apparently, that's not haggleable. All right. Wow. Uh, I was I'm so used to just adding a zero. <laughs> that's wow. You know. Uh, wouldn't have blamed the shopkeeper for just taking that. What? Seven fifty? Okay, sure, I take it. If you say so. The customer's the king. Um, yeah, but thankfully no. So yeah, I had 40 iron shots before, um, which I never used, so 40 bolts should do the trick, right? Especially since they should deal a lot more damage. Uh, of course, right now, hmm, surprisingly my shooting skill is at plus three, despite having no skill in crossbows whatsoever. I wonder if some skill transfers between different uh, weapon types that are similar enough. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, where was I? Black market. Okay. Hmm. Bolts plus five plus five. Could have afforded those, but you know. Ooh, an elven cloak. Plus two to stealth. Four plus seven. Oh, that's expensive. That would be by far the most expensive thing I've, I've bought so far, but holy crap, that's good. Ring of damage and accuracy. They have some good stuff. The thing is, um, I'm pretty sure that items in the black market are even more expensive than they would be in, an, in a regular shop. But of course, items sometimes show up here that just don't appear in other shops. Hmm. I can probably push that price below 10k if I, if I do it right. That's still a lot of money, though. But that's a really good cloak. And I wonder if the Elven Cloak even um, maybe even adds some special properties that are not apparent. I think I want to buy this one. You know what? I mean, you only live once, and this might actually make the difference between life and death. At which point, obviously, the money invested was worth it. Of course, similarly, I could run into a situation soon where I need more money than I have because I spent the money on this cloak, but uh, you know, that's a lot of ifs. I'm gonna offer 5k. Okay, see, he's only down to 11. That's gonna be easy to do. 5,500. Um, okay, 6,000. What do you say? 6-1. 6-2. No, not F2. Come on, 6-2. He's not going down much anymore, is he? Um, but I'm determined to bring him below 10k at least. Hello? Oh, there it is. Oh. Crap, I've never been kicked out. Even for... Even when, oh no, even after having haggled for a lot longer than that. I wonder if they ever become friendly again. Excuse me, stupid leper. Not in the mood right now. Oh man, that sucks. Oh well, ring of protection plus six. Ring of levitation, ooh. That, that's something I might want, and it's surprisingly cheap. Huh. But I'm pretty sure I want that. Um, I know I have ouch, I have at least one quest that specifically says that I should be able to levitate before I attempt that one. Because presumably there are like bodies of water, or maybe even lava or something else that I need to cross. Which I suppose one way to deal with that is to uh, blink until you end up on the other side, but of course that's a little bit risky. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see if I can offend this guy as well. I thought that was probably going to be a, uh, a danger, but yeah, as I said, I've even in all my haggling, that has never happened so far. There. 
320. I'm gonna hold onto that, I guess, just in case. I mean, I could put it in my stash, but obviously I might run into a situation where I just need it, and at that point, of course, um, of course, uh, yeah, it doesn't do me any good if it's in the stash. Right, I still don't need any books. No one else offering any quests, huh? Uh, my home, right. <laughs> that is true, that is my home. Enchant weapon, enchant armor, no thanks. What was this again? The Thieves Guild, right. Again, a lot more expensive than the services at other Thieves Guilds. Uh, the casino doesn't offer any quests. Wow, this is hmm, not as... doesn't offer as many quests as I was hoping. What was this again? Arena, library, didn't I see? Oh, that was the Temple of Life. And that's the inn. That's the Weapon Master. Did I check that one? I think I must have. Yeah, no quests here. Why can I not move quickly? Oh, now I can, okay. Um... Right, yes, I remember. Well, I have the one quest over there, or in here, right right here in town. And those buildings up there don't seem to have any entrances yet. They're probably future quest locations. Well, I guess I'm going to enter this one. I'm really a little bit bummed out about the, um, the Thieves' Guild there, but oh well. What do we have here? Shallow Puddle. Oh, that's those are monsters. Shallow puddles. A pleasant watery pool. Interesting. And you are giant white rats, which I have killed before, and they're not dangerous at all. Except that uh, red type enemies tend to multiply. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to be in here. Potentially quite a problem. Puddle is destroyed, white rat dies. And the other one too. Okay. All right, so far so good. Uh, let's use this. Okay, this is a bit of a larger map, it looks like. Consciousness expands. Let's see what else we have. A metallic green centipede. So far, so easy. Wear it. Oh, there's a wear it. I guess we'll see how difficult that is. A giant slug is eh, no longer all that, all that dangerous to me. There's a shallow water, so at least I should be able to walk through this. Uh, devilfish. Why are they different colors? Hmm. Devil, uh, different colors, but the same name. A white crocodile. Hello. Maybe kind of the boss of this dungeon? Oh, I suppose we'll see. Oh, the fishes just shimmer in different uh, colors. Also, I did not uh, see any more puddle enemies. Although, hold on. Okay. Um, well, it's undead mass. Ew. I've not seen that before. Hmm. It doesn't look like there is any more. Oh, wait. There's a shadow puddle. And those are hard to spot. You really have to be paying attention. Guess I'm gonna. Play it safe and just make sure I check every single tile of water while trying to pay attention to <laughs> to the description. So far there seem to be no other puddles. But yeah, there are similar enemies that are basically floor mimics called lurkers. They're invisible and also, I think not detected by telepathy at all. So yeah, I can just walk through that. Good to know. Hmm. There's another creature. Oh, blue icky thing. Oh yeah, of course. That's not even uh, disguised. It's just kind of hard to see there. Uh, gremlin. 
a surprising number of enemies I have not seen yet. Okay, let's just start firing some projectiles in that direction. It's destroyed, okay, and they're all destroyed. But since I killed them off camera and, you know, technically the game doesn't know or I don't know what exactly I killed, I don't get uh, the exact or the advanced description for them, the experience values of that kind of thing. That's kind of unfortunate that even when I know exactly what enemy I killed, the game doesn't correctly track it. Should be able to target that where at, yeah, no problem. Okay, it does not seem like a very dangerous enemy at all. There we go. Uh, I think the puddle was here. It's destroyed, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a level 15 quest and I'm level 26, so uh, things are expected to be not that hard. Oh, hi. I kind of forgot about the giant slug. Whoops. Oh, wait, did I hit the slug then? No, I think I must have destroyed the puddle. Uh, let's check just in case. Better safe than sorry and all that. Yeah, okay, the puddle is gone. The fish actually started to move. Well, I guess I can wait for them here then. Oh, really? One of them stopped? Oh, come on. Fish dies. And a fish is worth 25 experience, okay. So they're relatively high level enemies. Of course, I still have to check this chamber for potential loot. No loot, though. Okay. Hi. You're the crocodile. Huh, well then. Crocodile hisses. Ooh, this one's a tough one, and I failed to concentrate. 1% chance. Oh boy. Okay. You know, the good news is that I can uh, blink away. And they're, everything within my range is pretty safe, assuming that I can't teleport into deep water. I hope that's the case. Now that I said it, though, I'm a little bit worried. I wonder if it's worth doing that. I could also try teleport other. I never actually tried that. That did work. Huh. You feel safe. No enemies within range. The the crocodile just disappeared to somewhere out of my detection range. Huh. Indeed. What do we have there? Spiders? Giant spiders. Yeah. Not so bad. Why do I see that one spider? Oh, the, tel <laughs> the, the crocodile is all the way over there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as expected, not a hard dungeon at all. Can I not even... Oh, I can't target it. Uh, it's it's out of the range, outside of the range of my spell. But I can do this. Killing one spider, teleporting another. Oops. Um, hmm. Okay, let's... Oh. I want meant to cancel, but that's fine. Gremlin woke up. Okay, it's now starting to move toward me. Hello there, spider. Oh, the puddle. I didn't see the puddle, but thankfully... I mean, I, technically my character saw it. Of course, it's exactly, it looks exactly the same as actual shallow water, so I, I didn't see it, but the game automatically targeted it for me. You know, very convenient. Uh, is that spider almost dead? resists, but it's still dying. Oops. Crocodile resists. You know what? Let's actually use our strong attack against it. Whoops. Um, you know what? I'm going to teleport it again. That worked pretty well. And it's gone. There are more gremlins. Do they actually... Oh, they multiply. Oh, that's bad. That's potentially really bad. Let's quickly take care of these icky things. Um, how do I quickly get to the to where the gremlins are before they uh, grow completely out of hand? I can just start teleporting and hope to get to the northern corridor. Oh, that's that didn't exactly work, but I can kill the spider, please. Um, 
Okay, hold on. Where is the crocodile? Not visible. There is one more spider. There is... What's the W? Netherworm mass. Oh, God. They can also multiply. Um, thankfully, the, the one redeeming quality here is that there is not a whole lot of room to expand. So even if they fill one of these corridors, I should be able to bomb them with my AoE spell. That being said, though... Hmm. There's still the crocodile somewhere. Yep, it's up there. They're all moving toward me, too. No. Okay, can, we, can I please just kill this crocodile? Why am I targeting... Oh my god. Please, target the... The enemy. Okay, now it's dead, but I'm also mostly out of spell points. Hi. As expected, the gremlins are easy to kill, but... Okay, target there, please. Blow them all up. I hope they're susceptible to this. They are. Okay, I can actually one-shot them. Um, but when given the chance, I should try and blow up as many of them at once as I can. Okay, there are still three of them left. Only three. Uh, that should be doable. Hmm... Yeah. Gonna target that one. Hopefully finish off this one in one blow. Okay. Phew. Uh, there's still another worm mess, though. What is this? Nickel rod. Where'd that come from? The spider is yeah, probably lurking here. Um, oh, the puddle! Oh my god! No! Uh, no, actually, actually, it was just a bolt. Never mind. Okay, my, my boots were damaged, but it's not a huge deal. God damn it, he's stupid. Actually, that's I find that extremely, extremely cheap. These enemies that just look like terrain and are, you know, that, that look exactly like like something else, not even a slightly different shade or anything. Even when your character is aware of them, you as a player are tricked, just because it's literally impossible to see them, and you have to constantly be aware of where everything is. Uh, you know, sure, fair enough. But actually, it's still just... Deep Puddle, hi. Covered in acid. Gauntlets of Magic Mastery. Bolt is destroyed. Wow, wow. Are you, could you please not attack me multiple times, at least? <sighs> okay, now I'm a little bit pissed. Yeah, I, I suppose technically I'd seen this before, that there was this enemy. Did I? Had I seen that? Not actually sure if I have. But well, either way. Puddle is dazed. I'm going to target the same space again, and it's destroyed. Just like that. Hmm. Well, that was an unnecessary waste, you know. Wait, are we not done? What's left? Is there something left? Another puddle? Um. Monsters, really? Another... Oh, there's a deep puddle there. Okay. If it's just that, though... We should be okay. Where exactly was it? I don't think they move at all, right? I mean, I think it's, I think it's right there. So I should just be able to do this. Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, 
I mean, I ultimately I only lost some balls, which obviously is inconsequential. Um, my gauntlets, while you know they're magical, but honestly they're not that great. Yeah, I suppose they were plus two plus nine, uh, two plus nine, right? So yeah, they were good. So I lost two points of armor total, but I was going to replace both my gauntlets and my boots at some point as soon as I find anything better, really. So that's not a huge deal. It's still, it's you know, something that was avoidable technically. Anyway, I return, and that was a quest from the castle. We get something for it: a Fionorian lamp. Oh, we have a nickel rod as well. Forgot about that. Aggravate monster. Sweet. Let's destroy that. Um, Fionorian Lamp of Infravision. Plus two to Infravision. Huh. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that's... Hmm. It doesn't list a uh, duration. So, presumably, it doesn't use up fuel. Pretty sure the Immortal Eye Lantern only uh, gives me only reveals invisible creatures which which I can already do well I can definitely do that with uh, with my uh, first spell that I use all the time and my weapon might also do that for me I'm not entirely sure about that but I think it might so either way um Guess I'm gonna go with the convenience factor of the uh, infinite fuel lamp, which also allows me to get rid of the flasks of oil. Wait, wait, this is not my house. I'm gonna hold on to it. If it turns out that invisible creatures are more of a problem than I think, I'm also tempted to identify that, to have that lamp identified, um, or rather researched just in case it has any additional properties that are not apparent. I mean, it, it says of infravision, but a Fionorian lamp might have inherent inherent qualities that uh, I just don't know. Mm, so anyway, drop off the breast lantern, and I guess I might as well drop also off the oil. I'll freeze up some inventory space, which is always nice. And yeah, okay, so that was that. Uh, let's see if we can get another quest immediately. That would be nice. Uh, 25, okay, Logros Master. One of the houses in the town in town was recently sold to a foreign mystic. Now more and more alarming things happen, like the sudden plague of evil in the sewers. Okay, follow-up quest. Animals dying, people getting sick, and a general run of bad luck for our town. It is like someone is playing around with powers of chaos. I have evidence that the origin of everything is the stranger living in the house in the northwest corner of town. I need you to take this Logris Adept out. Okay. That is all the way up there. I mean, I really don't know how tough that's going to be. Hmm. I don't know if there's any reason not to kill these townspeople. Sometimes they just randomly attack me, so I like to just take them out before they start to annoy me. I could also probably go ahead and kill the were -rat. Also, I want to actually check if the uh, Thieves' Guild... No, wait, that's... Uh... No, the, the Black Market, if they will talk to me. No! Come on, please. Oh, to open. Hmm, crap. I wonder if that's permanently locked off now. Possibly. Okay, let's see here. Look at the poster where at. I mean, the one in the sewers was laughably easy. Okay. No drops? Nope. Uh, look at poster. Orc Captain. Uh, I've definitely killed Orc Captains before. Wait for my mana. No battles are recalled? Seriously? Because I'm pretty sure that I've seen them. Hmm. 
Usually appears with escorts, yeah. Not in this case, though. Well, you know, let's play it safe, speed up, and become a hero, and then just blast away at, at a distance. Yeah, okay. This is not a problem. Mindless husk, no drops. Uh, apparently I did get experience for it. Hmm. Berserker. Uh, I mean, that should just be another normal humanoid. Not a big deal. Technically speaking. Right, I haven't killed any of those yet. Might have, again, I might have killed uh, lower level berserkers before. Speed up. Okay. Alright, he's uh, a little bit tough and a little bit scary. I, th I guess he could have probably hit me pretty hard. But um, he never reached me, so... What's that? Stone Giant. Definitely killed several of those before. So, enter the arena. Stone Giant. Eh, well, kill two of them, apparently. They're worth a good amount of experience. MJ. They're relatively slow, I guess. Does it say? Um, normal speed, well. Oh, Fleece and Terror. Oh, and only two shots to kill it. Again, no drops. Uh, Dark Elven Lord. Uh, well, those are relatively, relatively scary, but I'm pretty sure I killed... A couple of those yet um, already. So let's see. Yeah. So I've killed. Oh wow, they're worth a lot of experience. But they are. I guess they are scary. They they are also spellcasters, but they're not that hard to kill, actually. Disappeared. Yeah. See, he's already half dead, and now he's completely dead. And. Again, I wasn't ex wasn't paying attention to my experience, but in theory, he should have given me some. Oh, zero potion of healing. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Iron golem. Oh, I have not seen those yet. I have a feeling like I can probably deal with it because I can, you know, uh, it should be relatively slow, so I should probably be able to speed myself up and start blasting away at it. And then uh, blink away and rinse and repeat. Um, yeah, I feel a little bit risky today, in case you couldn't tell. So let's do it. Enter arena. Yeah. Moves at normal speed. Cold blooded. Well, MJ. It's probably easier to kill than I think, or maybe it's not easy to kill at all. It has a lot of hit points. But I should have enough mana to kill it easily. Okay, that was a tough opponent. 125 experience. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, yeah no, never mind. I was at 10,500 before, I think. So, yeah, I actually do get experience for it. I was wondering, because the first two enemies didn't list experience at all. But I guess those were just special for some reason. I wonder if it's just completely random. Although enemies do seem to be getting tougher. Carrion Crawler. Oh, those can probably cause some something nasty, like disease. Maybe even uh, destroy, rust my equipment or something. I don't know. I, I feel like it's probably going to be something like that. Definitely want to regain my spell points, though. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but hey, here we are. Carrying Crawler. You Hideous centipede covered in slime with uh, glowing tentacles around its head. Normal speed. Okay. It's not that tanky. Okay. It dies. Sweet. And it was worth 53 experience. Alright. Okay. Next up we have a Ziklotlan, probably some kind of Maya or Inca demon. Maya, Inca. I always confuse them more. Aztec? No, not, 
Not Aztec, I think. Um, well, anyway, uh, South American demon. I think that's pretty safe to say. I mean, I really have no idea what to expect from this one at all. That's just a random string of sounds, basically, at this point. But, oh, what the heck. Metallically great tree, about 16 feet high with very thick cylindrical branches. Cylinders further divided into six flat circular extensions. And from the top of what I had taken for a trunk rose a featureless oval, rose a featureless oval, an orifice gaping at the top. Okay. That tells me absolutely nothing. Suitable for writing? I'm not sure from that description alone. <laughs> okay, I mean, that would be pretty badass, I suppose, if I could somehow tame and write it, but um, for now I'm gonna just try to blast it to pieces. Oh boy. I mean, it's dazed, it's taking damage, it's not moving very fast. And it looks like, once again, I triumph, and it's worth uh, only 53 experience. Okay, pretty tanky though. If I ever encounter them in a dungeon, troll priest. That does not sound particularly difficult. Hmm. Yeah, if I ever encounter them in the wild, I hope it's with a lot of space <laughs> between me and them, and not a whole lot of them to deal with, because that could be, get ugly pretty pretty quickly. Troll priest. Uh, priests are spellcasters. I'm pretty resistant to enemy mental attacks, though. So I feel reasonably safe. Maybe I should start this one with buffing my defenses, though. Not sure. Yeah, I definitely have not fought any trolls, really. Hmm. Normal speed. Well, I'm gonna go MJ. Gestures. Darkness surrounds me. But I have my light source that apparently uh, makes me immune to the effects of darkness, which is amazing. You know what? Screw this guy. Priest disappears. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's relatively healthy, as to be expected from a troll, I guess. Flees in terror. There. Have the ultimate uh, disgrace of being killed by my weak spell. And was worth. 89 experience, not bad. No drops, though. Okay, I guess an angel. Okay, you know what? Angel sounds actually scary. I don't know why, but that that's the, the first thing here that really intimidated me. So let's not actually deal with that. Of course, this is a level 25 quest, so it could be pretty nasty as well. Whew. Oh, here goes nothing. Uh, yes, actually. Typical quest level, you say. Whatever that means. Oh, it's tiny. It's only a, really only that single creature. Is that? Could that be true? Logris Master. That is actually terrifying. That's the first time I've had to face off against only a single opponent. Oh boy. Just making sure that there are no uh, dark enemies. There are enemies that are literally just black squares, for example. But there don't seem to be any. He can probably summon help. Um, character armor. G. I mean, here goes nothing. Is he sleeping, actually? He's not doing anything. Grunts with pain. I dealt a good amount of damage to him. This might be the easiest quest I've ever done. Okay. Sweet. I mean, I'll take it. 648 experience. Not bad. For an enemy who didn't even attack back once. Book of Craft Magic. Sure, I guess I'll take it. Ivory White Potion that I surprisingly have never seen before. Restore Intelligence. Okay. Useful. I'll put that in my stash in case I ever find myself with reduced intelligence. You know, that's kind of the idea of that of that potion. What was that? Oh, I don't know. I thought I saw something red at the bottom of the screen, but that was probably just some buff uh, ending. 
Yes, I sure saved you. And that was, uh, that, that gave me a lead rod. Okay, which is a lead rod of disarming. Presumably that, well, disarms an opponent. That's what it sounds like. Can we get another quest? Level three, ooh, oh, I'm so tempted to, to try this one. I never had a level 30 quest, but I mean, I feel pretty powerful. I'm level 26 and on the way to level 27. Hmm. The vault was used outside the town as a minor fortress and stored many valuable items. It has since been overrun. Please find the short sword known as Sting. Oh, hey. And return it to us. The moment you find the sword, your quest will be complete. While the sword could be in any of the chambers, only look through one at a time. The monsters here are strong and there are traps to be concerned with as well. Ooh. That sounds pretty nasty. Where is that? Okay, I can actually see it on the minimap. It's up and yeah, it's over there. Huh. Hmm. I think I want to try that one. Didn't expect this one uh, to be as short as it was. Let's see. I'm gonna sell. Oh, that's actually exactly the thing he's already selling. So it's not gonna be worth a whole lot. Um. Uh, hey. Yes. You know what? He offers 690? That's... I'm gonna... Well, he's not gonna do that. Or is he? Come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, I only had to ask him nicely a couple of times. Uh, what else do we have? Um, right, I want to drop off the... Restore Intelligence. I wonder if I need all those potions and rods. I mean, the teleport other actually has turned out about to be about as useful as I hoped it would be. Of course, I expected to not work against the one enemy that would actually kill me otherwise. But we'll see. I I mean, I do like the idea of the disarming. I do like the idea of polymorph, but that one's that one has a similar problem, right? Maybe I'm. I don't really want to have to rely on it. That's the thing. Um, especially the polymorph. I feel like any creature that seems threatening enough for me to try and polymorph it is probably immune to it. You know, that kind of problem where debuffs are usually limited by <laughs> the enemies that, that would require you to use debuffs against them, uh, being too tough to actually be affected by them. Well, anyway... I'm already at an hour, but I kind of want to get in here. At least it doesn't sound like it would be a, a very large map. So, oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong about that one. Oh, boy. What have I done? Oh, actually, I mean, it's not large, but I was kind of expecting the chambers, the individual chambers, to be smaller than this. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we deal with. Um, a Coco, no idea what that is. Carrying crawlers, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Skaven Shaman, shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. Uh, young Black Dragons, okay, these are actually all dragons. No, wait, they're not. That's a dragon. These are cues. Um, mad Bears, Moon Beasts, Disenchanter Beasts, oh boy. Clear Hounds are not that bad. Uh, what's the R? Is that just a lizard? No, a Basilisk, oh, sweet. That sounds pleasant. Mummified human, not that bad. Pattern ghost, no idea. Headless ghost, mind flare. Hey, I know that pretty well. A white dragon, a blue dragon. Yikes. Auto roller? What the hell? <laughs> hmm, that's some kind of joke. Uh, Poleaxe of animated attack. Nice. A balance drake. No idea what to expect from that one. Um. Young Red Dragon. Oh, what was that? Uh, ghoul. Okay, sweet. Yellow Mold. Face Spiders. Those are not that bad. And up here we have... A Gazer. Not bad. Cave Ogres. Hmm, well, I've fought other kinds of Ogres. Not these specifically. Mummified Orc. Shouldn't be that bad. Young multi hue Dragon. Sweet. Nexus Kulthulg. Whatever. 
Uh, Doombat, I think I've killed one before? No. I thought I did. Hmm. Guess not. A Gargoyle. Discolored Spot? Oh, that's a trap. Yeah, actually, I don't see many traps at all. Surprisingly. Gorgia Mera. Oh my god. So, uh, obviously it's not going to be this one over here. Also, what is this? Granite Walls. Okay. Those walls are a little bit of a of a grace, at least. I th I'm thinking the southern room seems to be the, le the least threatening here. Of course, the Mind Flayer might actually be really bad. There are two dragons. Um, dude, I don't know. Silver, creeping silver coins. I don't think they should be too bad. I mean, obviously, my, my biggest concerns must be enemies with ranged attacks, right? Like, dragons are guaranteed to have breath attacks. There are two dragons here, two dragons... No, one dragon up here. But it's multi-hued. That sounds kind of nasty. What I could do in any case is uh, use my uh, Wand of Trap Door Destruction and open the doors or destroy the doors from a distance. And then start attacking the enemies as they enter my line of sight rather than, you know, standing right at the door. That seems like a very sensible thing to do. Of course, if I had saved one of those um, detect item or detect object staffs or ones or whatever I had, I could just could have just used one of those. In fact, of course, I knew the nature of the quest beforehand, so if I had been smart, I would have checked my stash and or the shops for one of those items. And chances are there would have been one available somewhere. And that would, of course, have allowed me to pick the correct chamber right away, because there is obviously no guarantee that um, either chamber I pick is the correct one. <sighs> okay, I mean, I guess I'm going to start with the northern one. I'm going to aim this wand of door destruction. Destroy that door. Now I'm back to only detecting the creatures that are detectable by uh, telepathy. And there should be that undead right straight north of me, right? Unless it moved. It's daggers. It's destroyed. Okay. Good start. I'll take one step just to be a little bit further away from the other vaults. Nothing's moving toward me. It blinks away. Great. Hi. I refuse to be frightened. That's good to know. Target selected. Okay. Yes, I should probably also uh, select the correct spell to cast. That would help. Okay, the dragon... I mean, the dragon being in melee range might not be a terrible thing. It might not be bad for me, actually. It, it might cause it to not use its breath attack, which it no doubt has, but rather rely on its uh, melee attacks, which, you know, my armor is pretty good. I have a decent amount of hit points. It might be worth casting my armor spell, though, for this very purpose. In fact, it might be worth using both my buffs. Hmm, surprisingly, the dragon didn't even act again. It's because it was so dazed, I guess. It's fleeing in terror. I'm going to start using my cheaper spell just to save some... Okay, I killed the dragon. That's a good start. It dropped a lot of loot. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, so I'm... Yeah. Figured that it would be worth to save some uh, mana while I can. Icky Potion of Slime Mulchus? Yikes. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, some enemies have started bursting through that door. That's not great. I'm gonna target that gazer and kill it immediately. Cave, cave Ogre grunts with pain. Something blinks away. Pattern Ghost woke up all the way down south. Oh boy. Uh, how hurt is that ogre? Wait. Oh. 
Uh, somewhat wounded. Not very, not very wounded at all. Those things are tanky. Oh, actually, that was a lot more damage. It's fleeing. It's dead. Um, I don't know. Should I take another step north? You know what? I'm going to move over here. Wait, what? Where's that one creature that I just saw? The gray Z. Huh? Didn't I? Am I crazy? Didn't I see a capital gray Z right here just a moment ago? Oh, that was a clear hound. They changed color. That's what's throwing me off. All just clear hounds. Okay, uh, we have a pattern ghost. I have no idea how bad that, how bad of an enemy that is. It moans. It's more dazed. It's almost destroyed. It is destroyed. Gorgi Mera woke up. Um, What's up here? What is that? Three heads. Gorgon, goat, and dragon. Uh, okay. Running out of mana fast here. That's not great. Those hounds, thankfully, uh, tend to be pretty cowardly. Um... Usually not directly attacking me, but, you know, um, staying behind the closest corner. Sometimes they come out to attack, but I'm not entirely sure what triggers that. Oh, hi, Gorgimera. Nice, one of my words of recall was burned. That sucks. Um, down to 45 mana, that's not great. Of course, I got rid of my uh, of my polymorph. It's dazed. Okay, it, it did take a good amount of damage. Oh, I can't fail to concentrate. Please. Coco wakes up. Gorgimera is fleeing, but I'm no longer seeing it. No, wait, never mind. I do see it, of course. Apparently, I can still see it. Can't see you. It's not affected. What? Excuse me. Why is that cave ogre not moving? Okay, I'm killing it. Slowly but surely. Gargoyle is moving toward me. Huh. Gorgimera, please. Okay, the Gorgimera was worth almost 200 experience. Not bad. Yeah, now the Hounds are coming, though. Also, the Gargoyle. Can't see me? Excuse me? Of course it can. Hounds, please. Resists. Does not actually take a lot of damage at all. I still have my combat buff going. I wonder if I can actually fight a gargoyle head-on. But what I really want to do is... that. One of them died. Wow, okay. That was a lot of messages. Um, let's see. This one's halfway dead. Most of them are. That's the Coco. I have no idea what that is. I hit the gargoyle. Repeatedly. Okay, it seems very killable, at least. Lost me, misses me, bites me, dealing some damage. 
Okay, Gargoyle is dead. Oh no. Okay, there go all my buffs all at the same time. That's that's not great. There's also the freaking uh, Doom Bat. What are my options? I have a Speed Potion that I could be using when I try to kill as many things as possible with my physical weapons. In fact, I could... Oh, you know what? I should inscribe my bolts, but I'm going to do that later. Okay, I missed. Let's see if I can kill the bat. I miss. I'm enveloped in flames. Sweet. I hate it. Oh boy. Oh, what? Oh, the pole axe. I didn't even see that one creeping up on me. Oh my god. <sighs> Why are they all attacking so fast? Okay. Um... This is bad. Oh, I hate it. I feel like I probably have to try and get out of here, abandoning the quest, which is always a shame. Of course, there's a very real chance that I'm actually going to end up dying, which is, needless to say, even worse. I want to try teleporting. Uh, blinking, that is. It's probably just going to put me somewhere in this room further away from the enemies, which is not helpful. But I really don't have that many other options. I wonder if lightning bolts could help me. I really want this stupid bat to be gone. If I could teleport that one away. Okay, I'm going to try and teleport the bat away. And I did. Polex is still attacking me, dealing a lot of damage. So did that help me? Not necessarily. I'm going to drink that speed potion just so I can do more things. Huh, that's not Sting. Uh, could have been, I guess. A Pike, Chaos Dragon, Scale Mail, 40 watt. Okay, hold on. There's the Polex. There's the Ghoul, there's the Coco. Uh, I can cast one spell, and that's it. I can use a Lightning Bolt. I don't know how useful that is. Uh, I mean, that dealt a good amount of damage, actually. Is it going to make a difference? Oh, what? One charging. Okay, so I can still use it. Yes. I don't like this one bit. I have my frost bolts. Yeah, adrenaline channeling costs 15. And that's also, wait, why is that the failure rate went up so much? I guess for being in melee combat or something? Is that how it is? Let me take a step back. Hmm, I wonder. That's probably what it is. Um, you know what? Let's use the frost bolt. That hardly wait. That dealt a lot of damage, actually. No, I missed. Uh, oh no! Polex summons help. Really? Hammer of hell. <laughs> Give me a break. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to survive this one. That's uh, that sucks a lot. And don't think killing the the pike or pole X or whatever. Um, it's going to make the hammer of hell go away. Of course it didn't. Uh, what are these? What, was there more than one Coco? Am I crazy? Hmm. <sighs> Let rot of disarming. Oh, I wonder if disarming an animated weapon automatically destroys it or something. I feel like it's worth experimenting. I don't think that did anything. All right, cool. Hmm. <sighs> Well, it was worth a shot, I suppose. I'm, I'm still fast. Hmm. I could teleport. I could, yeah, I could use my long range teleport twice. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that put me all the way down here. Right next to the Mind Flayer. I miss. I guess without my heroism buff, I'm not actually as good at fighting as I thought it was. Headless Ghost touches me. Multiple times. Mm. Well... I could try running. There are a bunch of creatures in the middle room by the staircase. And it's a pretty long way there. I think I'm going to start teleporting and hope for the best. That's a pretty crappy strategy, but it's the best I can do right now. Okay, that put me in the same room, pretty much as expected. I think I should actually try and make a run for it while I'm still fast. Ghoul stares deep in my eyes. I'm unaffected. Oh my god. Nice. I'm being drained of experience, which is always great when that happens. Okay. A um, little bit of a problem here. Okay, here goes nothing, my last spell. Coco, flees in terror. Everything's attacking me, I might actually die. Oh, I'm gonna drink. Hmm, I don't know what heals more. Cure series wounds or healing. I'm gonna go with the super rare potion of healing. Oh, that actually fully healed me. I missed the cocoa, of course. Didn't it say that it was running? Come on. Uh, I killed it, but something else took its place. This is this is so frustrating. Clear hound. Please. I'm gonna die here. Uh, I hit it. Oh. Okay. I can actually make it out of here, I think. Yeah, it's a shame, but at least I survived. Well, well, it was worth a shot, I think, still. Mm. I mean, my, I, I was hoping, obviously I knew that my, mag my mana was uh, the limiting factor, basically. So I was hoping that I could clear out one of the rooms with only a handful of enemies. And uh, then rest long enough to at least restore a good portion of my mana. <sighs> what was that? Oh, I slowed down, yeah. Obviously, that didn't work. 
No, I'm down one level. That's not so bad, that can be healed. Uh, actually... What do you want from me, blubbering idiot? Um, I should be able to purchase a spell of Restore Life Levels. Or a potion of Restore Life Levels, yeah. I mean, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's not that bad. Uh, one of them should be fine. I don't know. I don't even care. Let's, I don't know. Let's haggle a little bit. Because I can. You know what? Sure. Drink that one. Uh, D. I'm back to where I was. Hmm. So ultimately I didn't lose much. I used up my potion of healing, I guess. Which uh, is definitely a really useful item, but, you know. Oh, well. Yeah, I report my failure. It's really unfortunate that you only get one chance per quest. The tower, level 30 again. I mean, I feel enemy-wise that quest could have been doable, but it was just so many of them. And obviously, even though the, the quest giver said I should only check out one chamber at a time, uh, that's, you know... That sounds nice on paper, but obviously the enemies were thinking otherwise, and they just started coming and swarming me. And yeah, I I am powerful, but I'm very limited by how much mana I have, and once I run out, I'm just mostly useless. That's definitely a pretty big limitation. I mean, it's not usually a problem in a normal dungeon where I can just run away and return later. Uh, or, you know, just teleport to the other side of the dungeon and have plenty of time to, to regenerate before anything reaches me again. But in a very limited space like that, that's uh, a real problem, as we just saw. Well, uh, tower outside of town, blah, blah, blah. Uh, not many monsters seem to be dwelling there, as usual. <sighs> tower, you say? I wonder if that's going to be a multi multi-story building? There it is, right there. I mean, again, I'm curious about it, but uh, after the most recent experience, I wonder if I should try to make uh, to make another level before I attempt that. In fact, you know, there are still those dungeons that I want to check out, namely this forest, and there was something else. Right, yeah, the way leading into the mountain. I mean, it starts at level 25, which is, you know, that means that it's going to go go above my level pretty quickly, but there's the entrance of the castle, which is which which starts at level 20, maybe goes up to 25 or 30 or so. So that should be doable, maybe. And either way, it's, as I said, it's always going to be easier to deal with than, uh, than a quest. A quest map, which is so small, but often very packed with enemies. Uh, the labyrinth, yeah, that one too, actually. Labyrinth, forest, I should probably do them in order of... Um, Ascending level, right? So, uh, Labyrinth, Forest, uh, then the, the castle, then the mountains, and then maybe up here the glass castle, if I feel adventurous. Because I'm kind of worried about the restricting magical field. There was something similar as well. Dragon Slayer level 30. Uh, yeah, cave filled with magical darkness. Oh, wait, that's... No, that's not what I meant. No, here. Uh, Anti-magic cloud. So maybe the restricting magical field doesn't mean that it re restricts the use of magic, but uh, this certainly does. So, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna... Well, I'm, I know that I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, go down, please. Go down, please. There we go. What are you? Some kind of bird? Sparrow? Sorry, Sparrow, you had to die so that I could live, I guess. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's what I'm going to do next time. Too bad we couldn't end this one on a successful, on another successfully completed quest, but, you know, two finished quests in one episode is not that bad, even though one of them was hardly worth mentioning. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.